Okay, so this is my senior project. My name is Conrad Yan, and my essential question for my senior project was what will it take for Millis to become a unified champion of the world? This is the outline for my presentation. Uh, how my project aligns with the core values of Millis High School is the, uh, the focus of my project was to help create a school where all students are included, respected, and able to live to their maximum potential. Why I chose this project? I chose this project for three reasons. Reason number one being uh, Jason Arnett, who is an uh, upper left hand of your screen, told me as a child, uh, Jason has been like the older brother I never had. He has shown me nothing but love and cared for me my whole entire life, and has uh, taught me what is true meaning, uh, what true friendship is. Um, the second reason was Belmont Hockey Team. In 2018, I took a trip uh, to the Winter Classic because Special Olympics flew out uh, for a hockey team uh, to win classes. And throughout this trip, I was able to interact with the athletes uh, and uh, create a new perspective on how they live their lives and how uh, the world treats them, but I also was able to spend a lot of quality time with them, which was amazing, which led me to want to uh, try out a unified sport, um, which brings me to my third reason. Um, I joined the New England Revolution Unified Soccer Team, which joined together those uh, with and without intellectual disabilities on the same team. And through that experience, it allowed me to build more connections and friendships, as my friendship continued to create a lifelong bond with the community. Uh, this is my uh, project timeline. Um, my goal for this project is to implement the foundation of a unified champion school throughout Mills High School which would allow inclusive programming on and off the playing field. A brief history of Special Olympics. Growing up, uh, uh, Eunice Kennedy Shriver had an older sister who was intellectually disabled. Uh, that sister's name was Rosemary. And Rosemary, growing up, would always beat Mrs. Shriver in sports, which led Mrs. Shriver to believe that those with intellectual disabilities can be just as good